in the weeds week 10. So we are now getting closer to the finish line than we are to the starting line. And today I wanna to talk about how do you not go backwards? And so it's a tale as old as time, things get a little bit better and then we get a little complacent, things get a little worse, we maybe have a tweak and then we're kind of back to baseline. So the first thing is just always remembering where you started. So I am constantly thinking to myself how much I appreciate being able to reach up and hang for my shoulders and elbows because those are things that I've not had access to for months, even years at a time. And I had to be very, very careful about how much load I was going to put on those. These days, well, I can pretty much do whatever I want. But that's not to say that I'm invincible. It's to say that I'm responsible, but I also have a good appreciation of where I came from. Number two would be don't ignore pain. I just can't emphasize enough that as soon as people get complacent, they feel good, they don't feel like they need to do anything, and then all of a sudden they're backtracking and finding themselves into that pain place again. Just, you have to acknowledge that there is no end game cure. There is just maintenance and a routine of this stuff. So that kind of goes back to last week when we talked about, well, what is the smallest toolkit that you can keep at your disposal to make sure that you keep making progress forward and you're not sliding down that path? And the last one, this is, can be very difficult to describe, but I want you to think of it like this. You don't owe anyone, any activity, anything more than you're capable of. I'll give an example. People want to go for some big crazy hike and you go, cool, I'll be there for the first half. No, I'll come for the whole thing. Now, I, I really just can't do more than one half of this. Or let's go bowling and you go, cool, I'll come in and hang out and watch. But you know that like bowling, and this is kind of an odd example, really lights up your elbows or your grip. Or you're gonna undertake a house project and you go, you know what, I'm gonna hire someone to do this because I know if I do five hours of shoveling, I'm gonna pay for it in my shoulder and my wrist. You don't have to do anything. As far as I'm concerned, the most important thing is for you to maintain the integrity of your body so that you can do the things you want to do the most but then also do the things that you can't avoid not doing. So if your kid or your dog is underneath a burning car or whatever it is, and you have to lift that thing up, well, you've got the, you've got the access in the reservoir to pull that off. Yeah, maybe you don't feel amazing the next day, but better than like you going, I can't lift this at all. When it counted, I couldn't do anything. So it's about being a little bit more discretionary with how you use the resources of your joints and muscles and just learning to say no when you know something is gonna to be too aggressive. In the context of like a group class kind of thing, this is where people tend to get a little bit out of control. I've got five or six other people lined up and like, yeah, we're gonna do this thing, cool, we're gonna do this thing, we're gonna do the spin class, whatever it is. And lo and behold, the timer starts, the music goes, whatever the thing is that you do, and we're going and we're going, and my elbow starts to hurt, but I'll get through it. You go, you know what? My elbow started to hurt. Cool, I'll do the rest of it, but I'm gonna bow out. And ultimately, that level of self-autonomy and just not caring about what's going out in the outside world has served me tremendously in terms of keeping myself in check as I get older, as I have more responsibilities, as I don't recover as quickly, and as I try to maintain that feel goodness as long as possible. So in summary, you are in control of your resources and your joints and to not over leverage yourself for activities that aren't that important to you or you know are going to push you over the edge.